Hey, I will show you how to make the coolest thing possible in Microsoft Word 2013 in a short amount of time so you can impress your friends, boss, you know, get a better job or just have some fun, whatever you want. We'll be creating this black computer screen entirely in Word only. So let's get started. We'll start with the stand. We will not be drawing anything but instead using a predefined shape to form a stand with the 3D extrusion. So jump into the insert menu, shapes, and try to find some shape which kind of looks like a stand from the side. For example, this left bracket. Draw it and tweak it a little bit, you know, by dragging this yellow handle so it looks like a stand from the side, but it's kind of thin. So right click, select format shape, and increase the width maybe to like uh, six points or so. I think that this is just about fine. Just change the color to dark gray. Okay, now we have a stand from the side, but we want to show it from the front. So jump into the effects tab and uh, raise the depth to maybe 100 points and scroll down to rotation and choose one of the presets. It will be probably not the right one, but we can adjust it by tweaking these rotation values. So we want to show it in a view like this, but we want to be more, you know, bold. So increase the perspective all the way up to 120 and increase the distance from the ground. So the left and right side is the very same. And you can see that the right side is the same as the left side. This is nice. Okay, we can add some details by, you know, making those ends around it. We can do it by changing the top and bottom bevel to circle. And we can as well change material to metal and uh, set a different lightning, for example, this cool chilly one. This is not quite right, but it can be changed by increasing the angle of the lighting. As we do it, we are trying to find some value where you know, this middle part is highlighted. I think this is just about fine. We just have to tweak this shape a little bit and maybe rotate it in the Y axis. Okay, I think that this, this looks fine. The next thing which you want to draw is, is a screen. We will use a rounded rectangle shape and draw quite a big wide screen over the stand. We will decrease the rounded corners by dragging this yellow handle and uh, change the outline to light gray and fill to gradient fill. We will select any preset, doesn't matter which one, delete the middle gradient stop so we only have two and uh, change one of the gradient stop to black color. Now what we want to have is a black screen with a light, you know, very very dark gray on the top. So we will keep this gradient stop with the blue color and uh, play with the angle settings until we will have this blue color in the top left corner. I think that's something between 40 and 60 is just about fine. And when we are ready and we have the right angle settings, we will select this first gradient stop and change the color to light dark, light black. I think that this is fine. We can we can uh, compare it against the black background by going to Design tab and change the background color to black. So you can see that indeed the gradient is from the almost black to pure black. I like it. So I have this, we have the screen border, but we also want the real screen in the middle. So we will draw another shape. This time the rectangle. You will make it a little bit smaller than the border of the screen, just like this. Set the line to no line and uh, change the fill to gradient fill. Now, because we have the same gradient used for the screen and for the border, the new shape is not visible. So select the shape, select the first gradient stop and make this color a little bit lighter. For example, this lighter black. Okay, so we have some, some hint of the screen inside. 
what we want to add now is a strong white uh, highlight coming from the left side so we will reuse this shape we will copy this shape ctrl c and paste it ctrl v move it to top and left to the very same position as the as the other shape change the line to no line and keep the fill as the gradient fill the only change we will do is to change both colors to white and for the second gradient step increase the transparency all the way up to 100% so you can see this right side is transparent while this left side is pure white maybe the pure white is, is too much so we will also increase the transparency for the first gradient step and because we want uh, this uh, transition between the white and the transparent to be very strong we will add another two gradient steps for the first one we will set the transparency to maybe 80 90 percent and for the second one we will set the transparency to 100. now because we want this transition to be quite strong we have to move those two gradient steps as close as possible to each other so we'll grab for example the second uh, the third gradient step and move it all the way to the left until we will see this strong transition and it's it's not very strong there is it could be better and if we have it like this way and it's not uh, possible to move it even closer we can fix it by you know decrease uh, swapping those two gradient stops that is uh, decreasing the transparency for this one increasing the transparency for this one and do the same thing as previously okay this is it this is a nice strong highlight the only uh, the only thing we maybe want to change is the angle you know I think that 40 30 looks better we can call it done or we can add some additional details you know just because it is fun I will probably add some elements down here on the screen just like you know the, the buttons and maybe LED lights so zoom in a little bit so we can see this spot a little bit better and uh, insert a new text box from menu insert shapes text box and uh, insert some symbols you can see that I already have this windings font selected so I will I will insert this fill shape and maybe few outline circles okay so for the text box I will set the shape fill and shape outline to none and change the font color to some dark gray so it will be not very much visible but a little bit then we can set the justification to center maybe you know make the font smaller increase the spacing and maybe we can make this one shining so we will change the font color to blue and add a, for example the shadow effect but instead of shadow it will be a glow because we'll set the color to blue set transparency to zero bigger size bigger blur okay i think that i like it this way if you look at it in 100 percent i think it looks nice The very last thing which we want to add is uh, actual text over the screen. So select insert uh, shapes text box, draw a text box, type in something, you know, maybe change the font to like CUUI light, make it bigger, change font color to blue, and for the text box change shape fill to none and as well outline to none. Now we probably want this text to be below this white highlight so in order to do so we will, select, we will uh, show the selection pane and move it below the highlight just by dragging this text box below the rounded rectangle 
and you can immediately see that the left part of the text is, is lighter. And that's it. Uh, well, not exactly, because uh, we'll show one more thing, and that is how to export this drawing from Word as a transparent PNG image. All we have to, all we have to do is uh, select the Select Objects tool, select everything, and you can see right here that everything is selected. We can maybe you know group it together copy it into the clipboard by either clicking this copy button or Control c on the keyboard, move below and select paste special and paste as a PNG image. Now we have PNG image in Word. To save this image, right click on the image and select save as a picture. Now select the folder, name of the image, you probably cannot see my dialog, but that's fine. And if you open this image, you can see that you have a transparent PNG image, which you can use on your website, you know, anywhere you want or like. And that's it. If you like this effect, don't forget to check my new free ebook, 7 Best Text Effects in Microsoft Word, so you can learn something new and have fun.